Yeah, yeah we've, we've had a, a good chance. We reviewed a fair bit after the game, to tell you the truth. We were pretty quick onto it and we were disappointed with our first half. We resurrected a fair bit after half time, so we were, we were all over it game day. We just uh, disappointed with our start, didn't get it done. Um, but just went through with a uh, fine tooth comb this morning, going through a little bit more stuff. And we'll have a bit of a chat this afternoon to the boys, but it'll be limited because we're four days from Giants. So we want to get into that pretty quickly. And there's, um, you know, we just had a little bit of a breakfast there with Sloney on his 250th too. So we're really looking forward to this weekend to, to turn it around, our form around, but certainly celebrate Sloney's 250th. Pretty reasoned with selections this season, never made a lot of changes from week to week. Does that change at all this week? Um, well, it could, yeah. I, I think that's a, that's a real positive to, to our fitness staff that have managed to keep the boys pretty fit and most of the players have been in reasonable form as well. Um, and it's been really hard for the boys underneath because they've, they've played some really solid football in the SNFL. Um, but we do know that we do have players there that have played good AFL football before, the players that are knocking on the door to, to make a debut. So there is there are boys challenging, um, but generally over the course of the year, the, the boys that have been in our um, main 22-23 performed each week. Touched up in the midfield. Um, Giants have got a pretty handy midfield. That's obviously an area of prime concern. Yeah, and they're looking to resurrect that because they were, you saw, um, I don't know if you've seen Adam Kingsley's his presser, but they were touched up in the midfield last week against Hawthorne. So they were fantastic in transition. So it's something they want to resurrect too over the last week or two. I've heard him say that. And yeah, it was early that first five to ten minutes. We uh, we couldn't quite get our contest right around the ball and, and we're certainly beaten behind it. Two weeks in a row in a shootout. Uh, GWS got a bit of a run on you in round one as well in the second half. Is it purely winning the ball at the source? That has a fair bit to do with it. If you're winning the ball at the source, it uh, obviously limits their opportunity to score. Um, look, it's, it's everything. There's, there's times on the weekend, yeah, we were disappointed with our contest, uh, disappointed with our defence. That was um, heavily spoken about throughout the game with us to get that right. But uh, also, when we had ball in hand, we didn't use it as well as we have, and we put the ball in positions where they could inflict back against us um, quite easily and quite quickly. So there was a combination of everything on the weekend. So it's one of those ones where... Did one, was there one glaring thing? No, there wasn't one glaring thing, but um, we didn't bring our game, unfortunately, and, and we were showing up. How much do you look at back at round one? It was obviously a long time ago. Yeah, we won't go into that too much at all. It was a long time ago, and it was certainly different conditions. I think I've spoken about that previously. That heat and humidity up there that day was just a, a game that I don't think anyone's ever been involved in before, where you had blokes hunched over halfway through the last quarter and couldn't run 10 or 15 metres sideways. Um, so we won't go into that too much, but we'll certainly look at their last six weeks. They've, they've won five out of the last six. They've really turned it around, playing some really good football, so that's what we'll be concentrating on. Obviously, yeah. Jordan missed out on the, on the weekend with concussion. I don't think he was out there this morning. How's he tracking? Is he looking good? Yeah, he's tracking well at this stage. I think there's a couple more hurdles he has to get through, a couple more boxes to tick, but uh, at this stage, he is on target. The Giants have a pretty good record with the Adelaide Oval. Is that relevant? Well, I think it is. I think as a team, when you play well somewhere, you, you bring confidence all the time. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. So um, the last few times we've played them here, we've certainly been disappointed with the way we've performed. Um, we want to turn that around. Like I said, there's, there's, uh, we're back here at Adelaide Oval. It's Sloane's 250th. There's a lot of things that we, a lot of reasons that we want to play good football this weekend. Um, you want to keep in touch with the eight, of course. We want to play finals football. We've said that from the start, and we know we're coming against a team that probably the last two to three seasons have, um, have had it over us. So we, we need to change a few things um, come Saturday night. The fans are pretty impatient online after the Bombers loss. In some respects, do they still need to realise it's a young group that possibly has gone better this year than expected? Not sure. How many fans? Was it a lot? We've got a lot of fans. We've yeah. got 50,000 here this week. So. Yeah, but a lot of them are saying, you know, bemoaning yet another away loss. Yeah. Is well, there, sometimes you, they need to be a bit more no, patient. No, they're right. No, look, we've, we were probably ahead of most of our supporters at the start of this season. Like, we wanted to make finals football, and there's probably a few people scratching their heads saying, settle down a little bit, you're not quite there yet. So, no, we're, we're aiming to be as best as we possibly can be week in, week out. And, We've set the standard for ourselves and it's it's actually, we're, we're wrapped that the public think that or our, our supporters think that because it show, shows how far we've grown over the course of the year. So that's a good thing. We love the expectations. We, we put huge expectations on ourselves. So we need to perform better at times um, when we haven't away. But that, that'll change us. When we get more consistency, when we play together more often, um, it was only three weeks ago, we, we were right in there against the, the top team at the MCG. So. Um, there's been some good signs away, but we just haven't managed to get the four points. Josh Shelley was pretty quiet. Do you think it could do him some good to have a week, possibly in the sample? 
Um, no, we've had a few boys that were probably down on the weekend, so we just don't want to look at last week's game in particular, because um, like I said earlier, there's been good form throughout the course of the year. But we're very mindful of older players and younger players. There, there will be a time where we may need to pull them back just to, to freshen up. Now, that might not be game day, that might be training during the week. So there might be some stage where you, your question is Friday, um, how come he's not playing, he's in doubt. No, we, we may need to freshen up players. We come to the pointy end of the season where it's been a huge pre-season, 17, 18 rounds in, there will be boys that um, do tired and fatigue as, as the year progresses. A word on Sloaney, he's 250th and you know, he's be front of mind this week in preparations. Yeah, look, I mean, I've been lucky enough, obviously, the last two and a half years to be here, but certainly from afar, when you're at uh, an opposition club, he's so highly rated uh, away from Adelaide um, in, in the circle, especially in, in Victoria, where the way he goes about his football, the leader he has been, um, the leader that he is at the moment, you know, he's he's stepped back from the leadership role this year and Dorse is in there, but he has helped Dorse out so much um, away from game day. Um, he's selfless. And there's no doubt when the games are on the line, like it has been this year at times, he's had some massive last quarters for us and, and been a big reason that um, we've won games. So he's just got a just a massive heart and I'm sure he's one of those players that the boys love um, playing alongside. Are you expecting him to kick 10 this week? Probably not. <laughs> I think maybe Slady's happy with 10 kicks or 10 tackles more so than 10 goals. That's just the character that he is. Uh, he wasn't out there this morning, just purely because of the 250. I know you mentioned he had a bit of a breakfast. Yeah, no, he would have yeah, he would have just done something inside. So that's that's where we, we modify or monitor individuals on a need by need basis. So there's there's nothing in that.